so today I'm back for another makeup tutorial for you guys and today's video is going to be for Eid and um, I don't celebrate Eid myself but a lot of you have been asking for a makeup tutorial for Eid and I thought I'll do kind of like dramatic eye cut crease kind of thing. I did create this look a while ago but it was less dramatic and I used different shadows but I thought for Eid I maybe it was something like a bit more dramatic and I don't know I think it's still a wearable look but let me know what you guys think I hope you guys enjoy this video so I'm first going to prep my eyelid using my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade medium dark warm as always and this just helps to prevent creasing and it creates a really nice blank canvas for your eyeshadow to go on and now I'm just using um, this MAC eyeshadow called Myla just to set that it's just a pale white kind of shade and then using Makeup Geek Preppy I'm going to create a soft transition in the crease area using the Sigma buffing brush I'll write the brush in the info box but it's this, this brush is really good to like buff in your crease shade I'm then grabbing my Anastasia shadow couture palette to create my cut crease and I'm using the Sigma EO6 brush and I just love this brush for precision like work like for eyeliner or creating a cut crease cut crease like this one and I am using the shade fudge from the palette it's a nice warm tone brown and yeah as you can see I'm going a bit above the crease just to make my lid space a bit bigger and then here I'm grabbing Morocco from the same palette and with a soft well little soft tapered brush I'm creating a transition from that crease that we created and then um, just buffing it upwards to create this really really nice trans I'm then using fudge again to deepen the crease that we created and just giving it more dimension and color and you want to be real real close to the line that we created and bring it less upward because you want Morocco to still show as your transition and just go little by little don't just pack on like a bunch of eyeshadow all in one go um, and then here I'm just using my MAC pigment in naked and just packing that on the lid space and I'm just going up to the line that we created with a small brush and then for eyeliner I'm using my Bobbi Brown Longwear Gel Eyeliner in the shade Black Ink and the Bobbi Brown Ultra Precise, Ultra Fine Eyeliner Brush I mean. And this this combination is really good for like eyeliner, especially if you're a makeup artist it will be it's so easy to do it on other people with this combo. And I also grabbed Myla again, the MAC eyeshadow to just highlight my brow bone and then I curled my eyelashes and here I'm just deepening the eyeliner I'm using the NYC liquid eyeliner it's just super super black and it makes everything look smooth um, but yeah as you can see I'm just cleaning the wing a bit more and then as always I'm just gonna pack a bit more mascara I'm using my lash sensational mascara you can always use falsies but I'm just gonna use mascara because I'm super lazy um, and then for cold pencil I'm using this Primark cold pencil that I use in one of my Primark videos and just lining my lower waterline and then grabbing fudge again to smudge it up in my lower lash line I don't know why today I cannot speak during this voiceover but um here I kind of brought the eyeliner in a bit and create this inner wing thing it was off camera but it's super easy all you have to do is just bring the eyeliner a bit out in the inner corner and then I'm just moisturizing my skin and color correcting my LA girl pro concealer corrector in orange and the bio oil has really helped my skin even out I, I'm seeing a difference like my mouth area is less darker um, but it is kind of working and then for foundation I'm using the M Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation stick in the shade Y445 and then just buffing that out with a brush and then for concealer as always I'm using the naked one again you guys know I love this concealer because I just know that it won't it won't fail me it won't crease and it's just really good so if, if you haven't tried that definitely give it a go it's around 15 pounds but it's worth the money um, and then just kind of baking a little bit with my Ben Nye Banana Powder. I did leave that under my eyes for around like a couple of seconds and then brush that off. And then from bron for bronze I'm using my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in the shade Dark Deep I, th I believe. And I did go a bit over overboard so I kind of baked under my bronzer so just to clean that up a bit. Brushed it away a couple of seconds later like my under eye. I'm then using my NYX Pro 
contour and highlight palette um, to highlight my skin I grabbed the more golden highlight shade in the palette not the pale white one um, I really like that one to like highlight my skin because it suits my skin tone a bit more and I also did touch up my lower lash line eyeshadow with fudge again and then just added more mascara on my top lashes and added some on my lower lashes you can go really overboard with your lashes if you added like really fluffy lashes I think it would look so pretty with this look and then for lips I just went with the Bobbi Brown lipstick in the shade brown it's quite similar to Gerald Cosmetics 1995 but it's super comfortable to wear and then I'm just setting my skin with my Smashbox Primer Water and that's the end of this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up and let me know if you would like to see more Eid makeup tutorials before Eid and yeah thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you next time. Bye!